there everyone. Welcome to Paul Painting with Ron. I hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other. Well today I thought I would do something I haven't done for ages and that's uh, a pearl pour. Um, if you haven't seen a pearl pour before I'll put a photo up in the corner there so it gives you a bit of an idea about what I'm talking about. But anyway today I'm going to be using this 45 centimetre by 45 centimetre square edge, uh, thick edge canvas. Um, now I don't normally paint the sides, but um, this technique, sometimes you don't cover all the sides, especially if you have a, um, a thick edge canvas. So it's, it's easier pre-painting the sides than trying to touch it up after you've finished your painting. So I've pre-painted the sides with, with black, and just like I usually do, I've taped off the back with painter's tape and put in some giant push pins that I got from my local um, office work store. Right, they're really, really handy. Right, so that's my canvas. Now, the paints I'm going to be using today, um, for my base, I'm going to be using Montmartre. Um, this is their Lamp Black. You can use any black you like, really. Doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be Montmartre. So I'm using that for my um, not my base color. I'm using that for the the color I'm pouring over top of my other colors, um, and the pearls will shine through the black. Now the colors that I'll put underneath the black to create the pearls um, are all. Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallics. Now you can't just use any paint for this technique. It works really well with um, the Deco Art Metallics, the Extreme Sheen. Also works with their, if I can find it, yes, here's one, with their American Americana Decor Metallics. Also works with, with those ones. But today I'm using the Extreme Sheen. Um, they're not cells, even though they look like cells. Um, they're curl, called pearls. And the idea is to put the colors in a puddle on your base and then pour the black over the top, stretch it out fast, and then the colors underneath will pop through creating your pearls. Now it won't work if your black or your top layer is too thick. Either you put too much on so the pearls have to work their way through a super thick layer of paint or uh, the consistency is too thick. So you want just mix up just enough paint to cover your surface in a layer that you want. If you're going to have to pour too much off to make it thin enough, you're going to take all your metallics off with it. So you want just enough to cover your surface of your painting um, and you want it nice and thin. So I've mixed up Oh, for this size canvas, I mixed up 130 grams of paint, 130 grams of Floetrol, and then enough water to make a nice thin runny consistency. And I'll show you that in a bit. With these Extreme Sheen Metallics, I just use one part of the paint to one part Floetrol. You want them reasonably thick for this technique. Now the colours I'm using today are... Um, deep sapphire and there just normal sapphire there's lovely light blue sky blue topaz a bit of a greeny blue aquamarine and then a bit of silver I didn't mix up as much silver as the other colors because I don't really want it to take over so I use 20 grams of most of the colors about 15 grams of the silver and the same amount of flow troll. Okay, let's get started. Righto, here we are. So I've got all my um, extreme sheen colors mixed up. As you can see, the consistency is, is quite thick for those. You do want it reasonably, reasonably thick so it's not pushed away too easily by the, the black when you put the black on. So I've got nice thick extreme sheen. Now the black so I said is is quite thin, so if I drizzle it off the spoon, I only get a, a tiny, tiny little mound of paint in the top of my cup. And if I twirl it around, I don't really get much of anything showing like you would do if you had a pour like a flip cup pour. So it is quite thin, not water thin, but almost but 
but quite quite thin okay that's important if it's too thick it's going to push your metallics off and the metallics won't be able to come through to make good pearls all right now the first step is to to put the colors on now you can put the colors on in any which way you like I'm just going to like drizzle them on like so If you do nice little rings your outside color will get pushed off you'll lose it silver I hope it works because these paints are expensive it's a lot to use in one go get a nice painting like this but we'll, we'll see what happens and the last bit of silver okay now that was the easy bit the harder bit is putting the black on now if I pour it up from a height it's going to come down with force and push all my color away and I end up with a huge black circle with no pearls in it in the middle so I do want to be reasonably gentle putting it on so it doesn't push the color too far away I will still get a black circle in the middle of the painting I can't avoid that but I do want it as as small as possible the last thing I want is a whole black painting with just some pearls around around the outside so I'm going to use um, my palette knife and I'll pour it on that and let it just slide up use all of it that'll probably do I think I've almost used it all there we go now you don't want to mess around with tilting either you want to be reasonably quick with that and not keep doing it because you'll you'll ruin your pearls so I'll let the black roll over the color and I'll go to the corner and then I'll come back to the middle and I'll go to the other corner I'll come back to the middle And I'll go to this corner. And 
and then I'll come back to the other corner. And then I'll bring the paint back to the middle. And fingers crossed, we'll get pearls. We'll see. Oh, just wipe my gloves. Oh, yes, it does take a little while for pearls to happen. I'll get the blowtorch. Okay, now they've started. I hope they get bigger. It does take some time for the pearls to happen in a painting. If you are said if your paint is too thick, they can't come through to the surface. Um, so we'll see. We've got we've got them happening around here, and we've got them definitely down the sides of my canvas. We'll see what pops up in the middle of the canvas. Now you don't really want to move it too much once you've done it. Because you'll ruin the shape of your pearls. But I just might move the paint a little bit. See if I can encourage things to pop through. Now you can see it developing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit here for about half an hour or so. And then we'll come back and we'll see what's happened to the painting. Hopefully lots of magical things. So that's been about half an hour. Thereabouts, give or take a little bit. As you can see, the pearls have, have developed quite a little bit more. And uh, well, they still may develop a bit more, but I think we've got more or less got what we're going to get. Um, a little disappointed perhaps with how many pearls I got. I hardly got any up there and down in this corner hardly got any and a big black patch in the middle. I think my consistencies were fine. I, um, although in retrospect, I think I still put too much black on my canvas. So less is more with this technique and I'll need to remember next time to use 
less of the, the top color. doesn't have to be black. You can use any color you like. You can even do like a ring pour or another technique over the top. But um, don't use too much color and keep it nice and thin. But I think what I ended up with, the, the pearls, they're, they're really quite pretty. I like the, the color combinations I got in the pearls. And the painting is more or less balanced. It sort of gives an idea of a, a starry night sky. Although my initial plan was to have masses of big pearls. So that's the goal in the future to get more pearls than what I ended up today uh, with today and perhaps a little bit bigger as well. Um, I really was imagining like swarms of them over the whole canvas. But what I ended up with is, is still pretty. It, it's not a disaster, but I can work with it. Uh, let's bring you in for a closer look. So there we go. Hopefully you can see the painting. A bit of glare from the light. And like with most paintings, it'll it'll dry flat and the, the metallics will really shine. You can see the pearls that I did get are pretty. Not much happening up in that corner. Go around this corner is quite nice down the side got some nice pearls down here and again not too much in that corner and nothing in the middle really but the overall effect is quite pretty Oh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video today and um, perhaps you'd like to try doing a pearl pour yourself. It's certainly a technique that's not the easiest one to do, but it can be really rewarding if you if you do it right. Um, just keep in mind again, um, thicker color on the base, very thin color on the top um, and be quick with your spreading out to keep the nice shapes of your of your pearls. Um, I, th I quite like this painting, as I said, although I was hoping for more pearls. So I'm sure you'll see another one again in the future, maybe with more pearls in it. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the video today and I hope you have a, a really great week ahead. Um, as usual, if you like what you saw today, please um, take a moment to press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a moment to subscribe. Well, as I said, have a great week ahead um, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.